Welcome to My Music Presents, your chance to get up close and personal with some of my music's favorite artists. This week, internet songstress and My Drunk Kitchen host Hannah Hart drops by to perform some of her amazing songs, answer your questions, and offer some lucky My Music staff members advice from the heart. Hello, I'm Hannah Hart and you're watching My Music Presents. This is a love song called Oh Internet. I need to make sure that you are not hopped up on cupcake vodka or skinny girl sangria. I do not need you going on Eric Stone Street at the AMAs. Don't worry, Idol. I am technically, legally sober. All right. Then make up a song about me right now. Uh, Idol. She's giving it all she got. Her head smells like kumquats. Oh, Idol. That was so great. That was so great. It's like, I set the bar here, and then you just like, Jackie Joyner cursed right over top of it. It's just so easy. There's just so much about you that smells like kumquats. Finally, someone gets it. We can move on. We can keep going. Let's keep going. It's time for crowd surfing, where I'll ask Hannah some of your questions. But first, I have some questions I want to ask. Hannah, what inspired you to start singing on your channel? I noticed that a lot of other people did music videos on their YouTube channel, and I really want attention constantly. I know that game. Will you be going on tour anytime soon? I actually am planning on doing a tour very soon, uh, with the help of hopefully any loyal and devoted heartosexual that can spare a dime. We're gonna be starting a Kickstarter tour for the Hello Harto Travel Vlog Game Show. Uh, wherein we travel all across America, and the viewers at home actually get to help decide where we're gonna go next. 
That's amazing! Yeah, if it works. When does it start? Well, the Kickstarter starts on December 6th, uh -huh. and it goes through January 6th, and it's 30 days, uh, right, leading us right into the new year, if there is no apocalypse between now and then. Now, another question I have is, if you could have any musician on My Drunk Kitchen, who would it be, and what would you guys cook? Oh man, I just really love Beyonce. It's, um, it's Beyonce. Yeah, I love Beyonce, yeah. and Beyonce. 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 Nailed it. Great, I love Beyonce. Me too. And I can't wait to have her on My Drunk Kitchen. I think you guys should cook a rump roast. Wow, you're good. Okay, let's take some questions from you guys now. Metal, hit me. Liana C on Facebook asks, how was your love of cheese born? People always ask, like, when did you first know that you love cheese? And I kind of find that question to be a little insulting because I was born this way. I loved cheese ever since I was a kid and it was hard to, I guess, kind of be so open with it. So I feel more free now, mm -hmm. I guess, just to let everybody know. That's very brave. It just feels good to get it off my chest. Samantha S. asks, if you can have a drink with anybody in the world, alive or dead, who would it be? I really would love to have a drink with Patrick Stewart, uh, Captain Picard of the Starship Enterprise, because I need to confront him and find out if he is my real dad. Okay, that got heavy. And my favorite question, if you were a My Music staff member, what would your name be? Jazz, because you could crack open a bottle of wine and have a good time, and then transform into a kind of racist Autobot. Hannah, will you play another song for us? Sure thing, Idol. Once again, My Music presents Hannah Hart. We are going to parody Bruno Mars's Marry You with Watch YouTube. Accompanying me is my excellent accountant and guitar man friend, Nick. It is a beautiful night. Subscribe, maybe even retweet 
I need to go to my silence chamber. I think she liked it. Yeah, well, well. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone here at My Music loves your advice from the heart videos. Except for Indy, but he doesn't really like anything. Anyway, a couple of the staffers wrote letters for you and I was hoping that you might be able to give them some advice. Yeah, absolutely, I'd, I'd love to. Great, Lord knows they need it. Okay, the first letter says, Dear Hannah, when I was 12, I got a little crazy at a cold chamber concert and now I'm trapped in an estrogen-filled nightmare. How do I get my nagging wife and Pena in the ass daughter to back off and let me thrash to Slayer and practice with my katanas in peace? Oh, and it's signed, Scarf Man. Okay, Metal, we clearly know that this is you. I didn't write that. Well, okay, uh, Scarf Man. Uh, for the sake of argument, let's just say that you don't want your family to metal in your business any longer. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, every man needs some alone time to play with his katana by himself. So you might as well just like let your wife and kids go on a little mini vacation. And you can hang out in your one person cave. Good advice. Probably not gonna listen to it though. Anyway, our next letter is from Dubstep, and it says, Wub zub ziz pow num pow bzz zomp nub womp. I'm pretty sure the only person that can understand Dubstep is Techno, and I'll never be Techno. And finally, I would actually love some advice from you. Yeah, for sure. Okay, I wrote it down just so I wouldn't forget all the things I wanted to say. <clears throat> I know this amazingly talented young lady who hosts a very popular cooking show on YouTube, and she's really smart and funny and almost as hot as I am. The problem is she feels the need to rely on alcohol to get attention. How do I convince this individual, whose name rhymes with banana, to get her act together so she doesn't end up sad, alone, and naked in a tanning salon like Amanda Bynes? <laughs> it sounds like you've spent a little too much time thinking about this friend of yours, and in fact, maybe you should just leave her alone, you know? And maybe you should just let her be and let her create her art. And, and why don't you take a long, hard look at yourself in the mirror, okay? Before you can go passing judgment along to other people. You know? I don't know. I don't I didn't mean right now. You are beautiful. Could you? No matter what this time. I think we're talking about. This is my day. One Direction's coming. They're coming around the corner. They're coming. Hey, so what I'm trying to say is that, like, I just, I do not see Zane anywhere. It is insane of you to think that that would get my attention. Don't ever do that again. It's a final question. And now the final question, as decided by you, the viewers. This week's question comes from Channel Sock Monkey, and it really makes you think. Have you ever been in the bathroom when suddenly a rainbow broke through the wall and you rode it onto a cloud which flew over China while you fed a random llama, then fell off the cloud into a sea of marshmallows which you slowly ate to the core of the earth which turned out to be jello? Great question, Channel Sock Monkey. But n in fact, no, I have not. Uh, but I think that would be a delicious conclusion to this Earth's time in our universe. Don't forget to leave your final question suggestions in the YouTube comments below. The question with the most thumbs up will be asked on an upcoming episode. It's a final question. Follow us around the web to find out about future guests and for a chance to have your questions featured on the show. We'll see you next week on My Music Presents. Take us out, Hannah. If you're not already wasted somewhere, she had a clear bottle when she walked in. She said it was water. I think she lies sometimes. Oh, hey there. This is the part at the end of the video. Subscribe to subscribe. Like it if you liked it. Click any of the other My Music Doom. Subscribe to subscribe. Click like if you liked it. Also, leave a comment, but only the nice ones, please. My sensitivity is through the roof, so just give me positive feedback. Love it. I love the internet.